Hi guys, my name is Bart Kamsky and I'd like to present you my Marketplace Asset 3D C sound system. So let me show you how it works. We have our character. We can hear the C. No matter where we are, the C sound always comes from the C side. There are also seagull sounds and some footsteps of sound and water. So let me show you how it works. There is a spline actor that we place in the level and just paint, uh, not paint, but uh, set up the spline along our seaside. And let me show you the debug. And now you're going to see how it works. So the sound is exactly where our actor is. This uh, white sphere represents the C sound. Let me disable uh, seagulls for now. Let's just leave uh, and let disable footsteps. Let's just leave uh, C sounds. So uh, C sound always follows us. It's all, uh, it always comes from the side where the C is. So no matter if the C is here, the sound is always there. And again, if we go to the C, the sound sticks to us. So we can hear sound when we are at C all the time. But when we go to the beach, the sound stays there. If we, if our uh, beach is curved, not our sound can switch, so we have to be uh, aware of that. But it has interpolation, so you can tweak that, so there's no uh, uh, rapid change in the sound. Okay, so in terms of sound, uh, C sound, there is a, a regular C uh, sound attenuation where you can set up. Uh, the fall of distance, uh, air absorption, and so on, in this setup to 8000. And also in terms of uh, sound, you can change the volume here, but you can change also the um, intensity of sound. You can have soft sound on intense, so let's change it to soft. Let me show you how soft sound. It is if you have really calm water, you can use this sound. It's much calmer. And the C sound uh, sound cue, uh, it has, like I said, two different sounds, soft and intense, for close sound, and there is far sound, and there is note cross three by distance, which is set up to about 1000, which is 10 meters, so it changes to far sound which sounds like this, or to close sound. And it uh, fluently mixes when you go farther from it, so it gives you this natural sound of the C side. That is always there. Okay, so let's go to another um, thing that this asset has, which is seagull. So let's disable sea waves and let's listen to seagulls. So it's, it spawns uh, seagulls in 3D space around our character and we can change its uh, interval right here. So there is min minimum interval and maximum interval. Uh, so it fluctuates, so minimal interval is 0.3, this is interval between, so it spawns very, very often, but then we can set it up to the two seconds or maybe even 10 seconds. So we have, there is a sine wave basically, and when it's low, it, it uh, spawns the seagull sounds um, more often or less often. So if we set up to the same values, 0.3, it's gonna be constant. A lot, a lot of sounds, seagull sounds around us that are there. 
But if we set it up to 0.3 and let's say 5, so it fluctuates between 0.3 and 5 seconds interval between them. And you can see uh, in the print string that there is a Siegel call interval in green. Now it's 4 seconds and it goes up. So you can set it up to, to have a natural, not constant, but fluctuating sound of the Siegels. Also, there is another thing, which is um, does uh, seagulls direction from the sea. So uh, if this is, let's set it up to very often. And if this is checked in, so it means that if we are close to the sea, uh, we can hear seagulls from all around us. But if we move farther from the sea, the seagull will spawn only where the where the sea is. There's also a distance, like in some attenuation, uh, it's set up to three thousand. Start fade out and end fade out is four thousand. Uh, there's volume and you can disable it. And there is run a randomness, so all. 0.1 it means it's 10% randomness uh, what else uh, the very last thing is uh, footsteps just pretty st straightforward let's disable this and listen to footsteps it's just sound here and water here we can change because there are also two types of footsteps light and heavy this one is heavy. It's not only volume change, it's actually different different footsteps. They are from our from my pack uh, footstep sounds with blueprint setup. So these footsteps are from this pack. It is very popular. It was free for the month at one point. And um, yeah, all you need to know is uh, if you want to set up um, this C sound, you just need to put this actor, which is C sound uh, system, uh, which is right here. Just put it in the level and set up the um, spline along your C uh, shore. And another thing, if you want to have footsteps, just uh, attach this footsteps manager uh, to your character. I have my uh, character uh, right here, but probably you already have your character. So just attach this footsteps uh, manager uh, actor component to your character. And one more thing, there is uh, C footsteps um, animation notified. So all you need to do is go to your animations uh, right here, uh, get your animation blueprint, check your animations, and get your walk and for and run animation right here. Yes, this one, and just set up this footsteps. See footsteps uh, notifies here by just selecting this because it's already there okay uh it's gonna be on unreal engine marketplace the link is down below please buy it and i hope you enjoy thanks